हेलो फ्रेंड्स आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ट्रांसमिशन बैंडविथ ऑफ एफ एम वेव द बैंडविथ ऑफ एफ एम वेव कैन बी डिटरमाइंड बाई यूजिंग अ रूल कॉल्ड कार्सन्स रूल थियोरिटिकली एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एफ एम वेव कंटेन्स एन इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ साइड फ्रिक्वेंसीज दैट आर स्पेस्ड सिमेट्रिकली ऑन आदर साइड ऑफ द कैरियर सो अकॉर्डिंगली द बैंडविथ रिक्वायर टू ट्रांसमिट एफ एम शुड ऑल्सो बी infinite but in practice fm wave is limited to a finite number of side frequencies having specified amount of distortion so here we talk about the transmission bandwidth of fm wave that can be determined by using carson's rule that is also called approximate rule according to this rule transmission bandwidth is equals to twice of delta f plus fm here delta f is called frequency deviation and f suffix m is called modulating frequency now we take delta f common and we get transmission bandwidth is equals to twice of delta f within bracket 1 plus fm upon delta f and we know that modulation index is equals to delta f upon fm that is beta so in place of fm upon delta f we can write 1 upon beta now first we consider narrow band fm in this case modulation index beta is far less than 1 radian so we can say that delta f upon fm is less than 1 and after moving fm towards right side we have delta f less than modulating frequency and when we apply this to find transmission bandwidth we get twice of fm here we neglect delta f as compared to modulating frequency and this transmission bandwidth of narrow band fm is same as amplitude modulation next in the second case that is for wide band fm we have modulation index beta greater than 1 radian so accordingly delta f upon fm is greater than 1 or delta f is greater than modulating frequency and after applying to the transmission bandwidth we get twice of delta f here we neglect modulating frequency as compared to delta f so according to the carson's rule the transmission bandwidth of narrow band fm is twice of fm that is same as amplitude modulation and in case of wide band fm the transmission bandwidth is twice of frequency deviation next we talk about international regulation for frequency modulation due to efficient noise performance of fm wave it has international regulation that is prescribed by ccir called consultative committee for international radio and their prescribed regulations are maximum frequency deviation is plus minus 75 kilohertz frequency stability of the carrier is plus minus 2 kilohertz and allowable bandwidth per channel should be 200 kilohertz and in order to avoid interference during frequency modulation these regulation must be followed by all commercial fn broadcast stations so ccir is the regulating authority for frequency modulation next we talk about effect of variation of modulation index beta on the spectrum of fm especially wide band fm we know that the transmission bandwidth of wide band fm is twice of delta f also modulation index beta is equals to delta f upon fm and using this when beta increases delta f also increases and accordingly the number of side band increases so we can say that the number of side bands in fm increases with increase in modulation index beta and here we are going to discuss this topic briefly we use modulation factor beta equals to delta f upon fm delta f is equals to kf into am and for 
increasing modulation index beta, we have two cases. In the first case, we consider modulating frequency by keeping amplitude of message signal fixed. Since beta is inversely proportional to modulating frequency, as beta increases, modulating frequency decrease. And here we keep amplitude of the message signal fixed and Kf is already a constant called frequency sensitivity of the modulator. So, Kf into Am is a constant that is delta F. So, as modulation index beta increases, the modulating frequency decreases. This can be explained using frequency spectrum of FM. The frequency spectrum of FM composed of carrier as well as side frequency that are separated symmetrically on either side of this carrier. First, we consider modulation index beta equals to 0 and here the transmission bandwidth is twice of delta F that is for wideband FM. This transmission bandwidth includes carrier with one single pair of side frequencies. Now, as modulation index beta increases, that is equals to 2, the modulating frequency decreases. Also here, the delta F is constant. So, the transmission bandwidth is also constant. But due to the decrease in modulating frequency, there is an increase in number of side bands that is shown in figure. So, when we fixed amplitude of the message signal, and increasing in the modulation index, there is increase in side bands. Next, in the second case, when we keep modulating frequency constant. So, in this case, Kf into Am is not constant. Or we can say that delta F is also not constant. Now, to clarify this, we use FM spectrum having modulation index beta equals to 1. And here the transmission bandwidth is twice of delta F. Now, as modulation index beta increases, the amplitude of the message signal increases, which results Kf into Am increases and delta F increases. That is according to the formula of modulation index beta equals to Kf Am upon Fm. Now, as delta F increases, and we know that in wideband FM, the transmission bandwidth is twice of delta F. So, the transmission bandwidth increases and accordingly, the number of sideband increases. So, in both the cases, as modulation index beta increases, the number of sidebands also increases.